They added in another Deagle to Cod, but this one is fast. Not only in its fire rate, but the progression on this is insane. This might be one of the fastest weapons to get camos on in the game. So with the season two update, they added in the GS Manga, which is basically the 0.50 GS, but it shoots faster. But this thing only has 10 levels on it, but you get nothing from leveling this up besides the ability to unlock challenges. And for those challenges, you get some pretty nice looking camos. Digital Wilds, maybe not be one of them, but to get this, you get 40 kills with it, which is pretty easy. Then we have the Wild Tick, however you say it. I'm definitely pronouncing that wrong, but this is a pretty decent looking camo and you can get this by getting 10 double kills with it. And then we have the Cracking Onyx. This one's decent, kind of middle of the pack camo, uh, but you get this for getting 10 kills from behind. And the best one out of all these is the Rad Reverb. This is like one of those cool vintage looking camos and you get this by getting 40 kills while it's akimbo. And then when we're all done with that, we got to get gold, which is three kills without dying five times. 15 long shots with it will give us platinum. Uh, 20 headshots will give us polyatomic. And then once we have all that, we'll get Orion. But I played around two games with this since unlocking it. And I basically have every camo challenge done outside of the masteries. And this is the class I'm using for it. You can't add a laser to it, which is a little disappointing for uh, trying to go for like hip fire kills, like especially at Kimbo, getting that accurate, but it does have under barrel attachments for some reason, which is really weird. So I guess since we have an open attachment slot, I'm just gonna throw on some ammo. Let's do uh target flinch. Why not? And if you're using this weapon, I would definitely recommend picking up scavenger because it runs out of ammo pretty fast. But anyways, let's go ahead, hop in game and get this thing done. So with the season three reloaded update, we got two new pistols, the being the tech nine, which is the F tech. What was it? Forge? I don't even know. I always call it the Tech 9. And then we get these auto deagles, and you can really see the fire rate on these is significantly faster. And honestly, with these two weapons being added, they're both pretty fun. Sometimes we'll get like one fun weapon and then like some battle rifle or marksman rifle or something like that's kind of boring and you, you forget about it after like the update comes out. But this is basically like a, a free token towards getting Polyatomic and Orion. Oh my Lanta, I missed every single bullet there. Because for this game, you don't technically have to get every single class done. You just need to get 51 weapons to get Polyatomic in Orion. And anytime they added a new weapon, that's just another weapon that you can skip. And this one being so fast to level up with barely any camos on it, like the camo challenges are super easy to get done. It's basically saying, you know what? Skip whatever weapon that is giving you trouble. You could skip all the launchers you already could with all the DLC weapons being added. Now, if there's another weapon giving you trouble out there, you can skip that too. And you can do it with very minimal effort. Oh, that's a rank up. Do we have our final camo? We do. We have Rad Reverb. I'm definitely throwing that on once we start that grind. But within three games of using these, we already are on to our gold challenge, which is insane. I don't think any other weapon I've gotten that far up with. And honestly, I think I'm going to probably take these off of Akimbo. Because I think single shot probably works better for me. Ooh. Come on, one more, one more. Fuck. One thing I'm not too excited about with it though is that it kept the same animation as the original Deagle, which is a pretty cool animation, but they might as well have just added in a full auto attachment to it. It wasn't really necessary to add in a whole new weapon if there's gonna be no new attachments, uh, basically no levels for it, which actually, you know what? Glad they didn't add levels. I, I would much rather them only have 10 levels than to add 25 and get nothing. So I guess props to them for meeting us in the middle. But honestly, it didn't really seem too necessary. It's like they're like, oh, wait, we only have one weapon ready to go for this season. Let's throw that in. But at least it's fun to use. Ooh, and that's three right there. Just need to do that four more times. Ooh, look at that camo. It's just so vibrant. So nice. But this pistol kind of reminds me of like the Xbox 360 days where you'd run into people that had like a modded controller where they would just shoot the pistol or whatever weapon as fast as possible. Like the fire rate on this doesn't even look real. It looks like I'm speeding up the footage. I think that's what makes this gun fun. It's just goofy. There's, there's no reason for the Deagle to be shooting this fast. Ooh, and that's a quick triple. And I was saying earlier how you could probably just toss in another attachment to this and make it full auto, but they wanted to throw in another weapon. Honestly, if they're in the business of doing that and it's easy to do, why don't they just do it for like a bunch of weapons and we can get it like a five weapon drop like each season? Because they could add full auto to basically whatever weapon or, or some sort of gimmick to all these weapons and just give us something new to do. Or if it's this easy to just copy and paste a weapon over, why don't they just add in like prestiging? Let me prestige my weapon and go through the camos again. 
Because I have the most fun on COD when I'm going through and getting camos. So if they just give me a way to go through and do it more, hey, I'm down. Like, I'm not mad that they straight up copy and pasted a weapon and just changed up, like, some st st statistics to it. Damn. But it just gives me something to do for a little bit, you know? I'm always down for that. I think we we're on another three. It should be four. A little five. Bloodthirsty on them. And that's it. Damn. Come on. One more kill. Go ahead, peek it. There we go. Oh, and there's gold. We already got it. And now we have to go for long shots, unfortunately. Now with the Tech 9, I was having trouble trying to get long shots with it, mainly because it's like fully automatic and the damage range on it is awful. But a Deagle's a little different. I guess this Deagle's fully automatic, but the Deagle packs more of a punch than, than a Tech 9 would. So maybe if we play these long angles, we might be able to get some long shots here. Oh, is that one? Nope, too close. I know long shots are possible on here. Just help me out. There we go. And I'm already like almost out of ammo. Let me grab a quick munitions. Also a good thing to have while using this. But the angle to get long shots on Shivan is just so specific. And I feel like whenever I'm going for it, nobody wants to peek it. Or I'm getting flanked the second somebody does. Oh, wait. Never mind. I take it back. Oh, no, I don't. There we go. Ooh, quick double on him. Ooh, can we get gold and plat in the same game? I don't think so. Uh, we probably got like six long shots and we need 15. And this game is pretty close to ending. Oh, wait a minute. Actually, I'm gonna hold out hope. Let's get them both. Ooh, was that a clat? Can't even tell with how fast this thing shoots. Come on, peek it. There we go. Stay further back though, if you're gonna peek me. Thank you in advance. Oh, and that's game. I want to see how close we got. We got to be within like three kills. Oh, 11 out of 15. We were so close to getting them both in the same game. Damn, dude. Okay, now this is the game where we get platinum and polyatomic. We're getting them both in this one game. That's my goal. If we can't get gold and plat, we'll get plat and poly. Come on, just a few more. Keep peeking me, please. Come back. Not you. Come on, I can't get a single long shot now. These guys are just eating my bullets. It's like they're doing nothing. No way! A double hit marker? Come on. I've been gassing this gun up all day on how easy it is. Don't give me difficulty now. All right, I think COD's listening to me. And me saying I want to get polyatomic and platinum in the same game, they said, bet. Go ahead and try. There's got to be like a damage range barrel I can put on this. Oh, I think I have it on. Oh, wait, this one has a little more. We'll try that. I'm coping now. Now is not the time, Camo Curse. Fuck with me any other day. Just give me a day off. But if there's one thing that takes so long while doing this, it would be the long shots, wouldn't it? Oh, well, there we go. We finally broke the curse. There it is. All right, now we just need headshots. Let's hope there's enough time left in this game for me to do that. Oh, no. Heads no longer exist in this game. I shot every bullet of this gun and didn't get a single headshot from it. And now I can't even get my ammo here. Oh, any opportunity this game has to mess with me, it will. I swear. Oh, that's a headshot, finally. If we're not getting both camos, I'm at least getting some progress. No matter what this game wants to happen. Okay, it, it really wants me to die. That guy with the riot shield was evading the shit out of me. And he didn't even know he was doing it. Oh, that's finally a headshot. A dirty one at that. Oh, no, he wasn't even playing. Come on, let me get it. There we go. Finally got the guy who wasn't playing. And that's game. We didn't get the two camos in one game twice in a row. We only got eight headshots. We were way off. All right, now let's get absolutely no camos this whole game. Right, Cod? No camos. Ooh, I might be, I might be playing the system here. I might be playing the system here. Oh, we might have just cracked the code. Oh, no. Maybe it was all a ploy. The COD gods are frowning upon me for trying to trick them. Now they're going to camo cuck me. They've seen through my ruse. And now I'm being punished. 
Oh, there we go. Uh, I repent. All right, COD gods. I'm sorry. I apologize. I just want to get my camos and get out. No more punishment, please. Come on. Just a few more. Oh, and that's it. Let's go. Oh, no more punishment from the COD gods. I'm done. Camo curse. Get out of here. We don't need it anymore. Did we get all the camos on it? Let's make sure I'm not seeing things. Gold, platinum, poly, and Orion. Let's go. All right. Well, let's hop in game and see what it looks like there. And just for the record, my recording is at 40 minutes. So that's all it took after getting it fully leveled up. Probably could be faster, but you know how it goes with me. All right. This is what our full auto deagle looks like with polyatomic. Very nice looking weapon. Literally looks identical to the deagle. I'm sure someone's going to be like, eh, well, actually, there you can see the minor differences here. Whatever. Basically the same weapon, same animation, but it does look pretty good. And this is what it looks like with Orion. Just a really beautiful looking weapon. And honestly, pretty fun to do. Not a bad gun. But there you have it. We got probably the fastest weapon to go from nothing to Orion on in the longest amount of time. Uh, but that's just my luck. Uh, you guys probably will have better luck doing it, but it is a pretty fun weapon to do. Would definitely recommend it if you're just trying to replace some sort of more difficult weapon that you're struggling with on your path to Orion or Polyatomic or whatever. But what do you guys think about them adding in basically a duplicate weapon with different stats? Would you like to see more of it? Would you like to see less of it? Do you think it's lazy? Do you think it's like, you know what? I'll take it. You know, what are your thoughts on it? But uh, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support. And uh, I will see you in the next one. Later.